all right what's up guys you know what it is so i decided to pick up this game and i'm gonna tell you a story of origin based on how i came across uh crash bandicoot by the way i'm playing with d-pad for those of you who are curious uh i'm not that good at crash bandicoot i'm just letting you know right now i suck i'm pretty bad but enough of that. Let's get to the origin of how I came across Crash Bandicoot. Well, it all happened one day when my mom wanted to get a car and we went to CarMax. And she was looking for a car, which eventually became the car that I used to use, which is the first car I ever got, you know? And I'm concentrating at the same time. Some people say this game is hard, as hard as Dark Souls. I don't know. We'll see. I really have to evaluate it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we go over there to the car, and then like the dealer, which is like some, I think like some big Hispanic dude, he goes up to me and says, son, do you like to play video games? I'm like, yeah, sure, who doesn't? And because I'm waiting there and like they're showing my mother the showroom as to what car she wanted to get uh, type of stuff and lo and behold I go and he brings me to a room where like I guess it's like an entertainment center it's like a, a, a entertainment center mind you this place is a car max where my mother got the car so and like, I keep going, and, and, and I'm, like, pausing. So I'm concentrating, really. Um, oh, shit. Okay. And so he leaves me there. And the entertainment center had a PlayStation. Okay, I gotta be careful. Alright, cool. I did it. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's check what's on the other side. Man, I don't remember Crash Bandicoot too fondly, honestly. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, that's it. Alright, I'll just go around on that path, I guess. I don't know the secrets of Crash Bandicoot or anything like that, but... It is what it is. So back to the story about CarMax. So I'm there, my young self. When was this? Let me see. I think I was like... I'm doing the math in my head. Oh cool, okay, I got all the boxes. Alright, that's awesome. So I'm there... This is 97? So I was 11, about that time. And... I'm there in this entertainment room. And there was a PlayStation. Within that PlayStation was Crash Bandicoot. And I don't remember the other games what they were. So I was there sitting there just playing Crash Bandicoot. Which seemed to be like a demo or something like that. It wasn't a complete game. It was just a, a, a little demo. To give me a taste of the game. Right? So I discovered, damn. Like... I keep dying in this game. Like, is this supposed to be a child's game? And then, like, I would be back and forth and everything. So, finally, I think like an hour later, my mom finally got the car. It was a 97 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, turquoise, turquoise green, Cutlass Supreme, which was really nice and everything. Automatic and all that stuff. And it eventually became my car later on in life. Shot with a TNT. I should say. Yeah. Bye bye. Invincibility. Equivalent of the Super Mario Star. Any secrets? I know this game is chock full of secrets, so I gotta be careful. Damn. Did I get hit? Nah, I don't, I don't think I did. Whatever. Go. 
so the color supreme um was a great car my mom drove around in it and everything to get to work and back and like picked me up for certain things back then she got into an accident with the car but like it like really nothing bad happened to the car like it was in good shape she maintained it had very low miles how do i get up there like this i guess or i need us i need to get something here I don't know, that was a secret, and I'm gonna miss boxes, I think, for that. Yeah, that, that has to be a secret. So... After that, you know, like, later on my mom noticed I needed a car, and I grew up as she gave me that car, so... And I enjoyed it since. It was the first car I ever owned. It was a turquoise Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. The car was great. It was kind of fast. I'm not gonna lie. I, sp I sped it in a little bit to see like the potential of the car and all that type of stuff. But nonetheless, oh bonus time. All right, cool. But nonetheless, you know, we do crazy stuff when we get our first car. So like when we're young. You know, while young in Rome, you do crazy shit. It is what it is. I have a lot of lives. Those lives are gonna come handy later on, and when I face some serious stuff later on. I always think I get hit or something, I don't know. Shit, I fucked up. Damn, that sucks. Alright, at least I know what death looks like. Lost that mask too. Yeah, plenty of those to go around. See, it's kind of hidden, you have to be careful, so... Damn, I needed three boxes, I could've found the other three. The other three were probably up there with that, that crate. Whatever that was. That metal crate shit. So another story, um, since we're talking about cars, the first time I ever drove a car, my grandma doesn't know, nobody know, doesn't know about this story, only me, personally, was um, my grandma, um, one day she was sleeping, and this is, she had an apartment in uh, by the bay in like Miami Beach, and she had a Cadillac Seville, a 91, a uh, white Cadillac Seville automatic, you know, had all the works. Obviously, it's a Cadillac. I mean, it's 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 the American standard of luxury. And like one day, I decided, damn. And I was being sneaky, you know. And this, like, this is when I was like 14, 15, or 16. I said, damn. Um, let me take a ride in in her car, you know. I'm like, whoa, you know, like, like, look at the balls on this boy getting ready to like drive a car without a license and all that stuff. Relax, it, I didn't go that far. Like, it was it was crazy stuff. So basically, here's the deal. My grandmother, she lived in an apartment at that time, and I don't know if there was a secret up there. I'm not too sure. This turtle over here. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Can I jump that? Yeah, I can. Alright, cool. Alright. So, the deal was... Oh, that hurt me? Oh, that sucks. Oh, no, wait. I think that's... There's a trick to that. I think it takes me higher. Hold up. Okay, never mind, it kills you. Okay. I'm done with that fuckery then. I thought it takes you higher, like you get on top of the bouncing one, it takes you somewhere, but I guess not. Alright, so to continue the story. So, my grandmother lived in an apartment, I think it was, I'm trying to remember, third floor in the condominiums. And it's by the bay, really nice setting, like it was super nice. And I snuck into her room and took her car keys and I went downstairs. Now here's, keep in mind, the condominium that she's in has, is gated. So you need a, a clicker to get out. 
Wow. Okay. You need a clicker to get out, basically. And I was saying, I was saying, damn, let me take the clicker too. So I'm like, all right, I got the clicker, I got the keys. So let me let me ride around the beach like a badass, you know, and try all that. Uh, thank God I didn't go that far. Um, when I mean when I didn't go that far, basically, is what I mean is that all I did literally was go into the car, turn it on, and drive it for a little bit in the little parking lot that was it within the gate. But, but, here's the but right here. Um, there's a door, and if you don't have the key to open the door to get back into the apartment building... Oh, fucking monkey. Wow, okay. Um, really? Damn, okay, I gotta be careful. Deaths in this game are pretty serious. Okay. So, I gotta be careful. The monkey rolls... He, it's pretty much invincible. So I didn't have the key to get back to the apartment, so I had to block it with something. So I put like I put my shoe, I like got one of my shoes to like block the door open, so I could come back into the apartment and you know be safe and sound. So that's what I did. I got a shoe. What do we got? This is this is hard right here. All right, no, no, actually it, it wasn't. Okay. Sorry, I'm just focusing a little bit. Whoa, okay. Okay, dude. Alright, there we go. So... Another thing that I noticed as well, which I tend to see it a lot, and I go to my summer... Like, every summer, when I was young in high school, I would go to my grandma's house at the beach, and that, that was accustomed. I was like, custom I would do, I would play PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast. Those were the good old days for me. Oh man, he could kill me easily. Oh my god. Really? I guess... Okay, there we go. Um... I look in the parking lot, and these are the cars I see almost every day in the garage. Well, that garage located thing. It's, a, it's technically a garage too, so when you think about it. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Try a bonus. Uh, it was a black... When I walk out of the door, there's always this black car that I always see. And I don't know if people drive this car anymore. A black Saab. Like, they say that car is like a staple. Like, uh, not staple, I mean, um... Oh man, I messed up. On the bonus round, damn! I could retry though, right? Yeah, I could retry. All right. Cool. Do I lose life for that? I don't know if I do or not. Ah no! I wanted that wampa fruit. Oh, that sucks. Really wanted it. Can I still reach it? No, I can't. Shit, I failed the, I failed the bonus. That sucks. Alright. At least I get plenty of lives. Three in the bonus. How many do I have overall? Okay, it adds up. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright. So... I don't know if people drive sobs anymore. That, I mean, that's like a European car. I don't know if many people... Okay, I gotta be careful with this. And I found out it's a woman who owns it. And like, she takes pride in there. She like... She like, flaunts it and puts it up front. And all that type of stuff. What are those portal thing... Not portal thing, it's that little pad. That's like... Invisible. Like... I don't know what that is. You know, I haven't... I haven't really played the Crash Bandicoot. To be honest. Ugh. But... That's like... <laughs> and then also there was like this Frankenstein of a car that I saw. There's a white van too that I see. 
And then I can see the dumpster, like where the, it goes down the chute. And there's like a dumpster right there in the area. And there's a Frankenstein car, which is like a Toyota Camry mixed with a Honda or something. I don't know, man. I don't know why people came come up with this crazy ass wild ideas where they do this shit, you know? And basically, that's, that's pretty much it, what I found a lot. So I start the car, nervous as hell, turn it on, and literally I jolted in the car. Like I pr literally pressed accelerator and I was afraid I was gonna accelerate too much and I braked really hard at a while, boom, boom, like forward back. I'm like, oh shit, I shouldn't be doing this. But then I drove a little bit and then I got a little bit confident. Mind you, not getting out of the gate, so. The time I got confident and it was a good thing that I learned a little bit about driving and that was when I was like 14 or 15 when I did that and it was scary stuff fortunately the door did not close on me since I put the shoe there and everything nobody came down to my surprise nobody nobody had come down really okay a good day and then I, I slipped the, the key and the clicker back into my grandma's room went to sleep and had breakfast and it was like any other any other normal day not a big deal it was as it was as if nothing happened at all and nobody found out about it so I got lucky And those boxes those boxes really take a toll on me man like it's like you have to take out the boxes in order to, to meet the end goal of getting that diamond at the end you know what i'm saying so speaking of which um the first car i got once in a while it started having problems with the engine because i was speeding too much and then like messing with the transmission all that type of stuff and one day the engine just blew out i took it to the mechanic several times and this is the Color Supreme 97, mind you. And I was about a car. And my stepdad gave me his car, which is a four white uh, soccer mom van. Ford Aerostar 95. Which was very reliable, but it had a problem on it. It had a... I wouldn't say a leak. I would say more like a... Whoa, okay. I did not anticipate that at all. Okay, whoa. All that just to get a box. Would you believe that? All that just to get... That's so close to getting another life too. All that over a box. And it had plenty of miles. I mean, it had like 160 something thousand miles. And this was like a 2008, 2010 span around there. Spin slows you down? Yes, it does. Okay. I just have to be really quick about it then. Oh, the xylophone, man. They're killing it. Whoever was in the studio who thought up of that, give him props for that. I got all of them that's awesome all right cool all right perfect i didn't get the key though there's keys in these guys you don't know about that it, it, ended up, it had a leak in the fuel tank like once in a while like it, it was very dangerous that i drove it around and um like it wasn't a big leak like you don't really notice it is drivable and it had no problems it, you know and then you get all the ford aerostar vans they were famous for the power steering issue that it has and all that type of shit you know and that's what it was you know and like i that was the van i took on to go on trips to hang out with my friends and stuff like that 
like people joked around they were like oh that's the bang bus van and like all that type of stuff it was pretty funny it was a, a tongue-in-cheek joke but it was pretty funny great moments happened with that car i missed that car so much actually it was very reliable wasted gas though like crazy oh my god did i just fall okay that's legit yeah this is legit yeah, I guess I'll have the shadow guide me. At least it has a sh this game has a shadow in print, so that's good. Great moments happen in the event. Crazy stuff, good stuff, all that type of stuff. Yeah, I have plenty of stories about that car, but I miss it a lot. Uh, not, to, not to everybody that owns a car, always have a backup car as well, because you never know. It's always good to have two cars. And people say, but the insurance is too much money. Like, it, it'll help you in the long run. So, like an emergency happens or something like that and you have a backup car, oh, you're good. So, you ain't got to worry about it. Oh my God. And what is this? Venus flytrap contraption? Yeah, D-pad. Oh, I didn't even see that coming. I could have died right now. Wow. Okay. Um... Okay. Gotta be careful with this one. Oh, it goes down? No way. Okay. I didn't know that. Alright. I gotta be careful, man. Uh, probably if I hit the TNT, I knew it. That was gonna happen. And then I'll talk about stories about other cars that I get later on. And um, adventures, I mi oh, miss adventures. Of certain things that happened when I had those cars. Lucky the car I have now, very reliable. A 2004 Hyundai Santa Fe, which was my mom's as well, surprisingly. It was a hand-me-down, but very good. Super reliable. Take it everywhere with me. This is my go-to car right now. Wow! Okay. This is... That was risky. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. That TNT, though. I was, like, really pressuring me. Okay. You have to have like a precision when you jump and everything. And, and I got past that part. Like, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. And then here, I gotta move. Like, if not, it goes down and then I drown with it. Oh, this is new stuff right here. I don't know what this is. Now I got purple. Oh, that one just instantly snaps no matter what. What's up with those things? Like, I don't know how those... How to activate those things. Maybe activate it later on in the game, I guess. Let's go for the bonus. Why not? I need more lives. I lost plenty of lives just going through all that. I remember once upon a time, I saw a Venus flytrap. Oof. Okay, I have to do this carefully. This bonus is pretty sophisticated. Yeah, I knew it. Okay, I gotta be careful not to break one of these. Yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. That's the ticket. Alright. Yeah, who says that? That's the ticket. Like, old people say that, I guess. I don't know. I hear it in, like, some cartoon movies type of stuff. Like, from the 90s and stuff like that. They're like, that's the ticket. You know? But, I don't know. 14 lives, alright, not bad. That bonus was definitely worth it. Okay, so, moving on. Let's see where this takes me. If I travel further than, I would say, Fort Lauderdale, I'll get a rental. I know my car is great, but I don't take any chances, really. I missed three boxes. Damn. What were those three? 
Well, apparently I missed three. Okay, that's fine. This game is a lot of fun. It's just, it, it's it's nerve inducing. It's like, it's kind of stressful in a way, in a sense. And it kind of isn't, but it it's fun. It really is. Papu Papu. Do you know about the Papu Papu? The Papu Papu. And it, it's funny that, like. Papu Papu, my papa. He's in Canada right now, my real dad. But right now it's on step that oh is this a boss? Keep in mind, I never I never played this game fully. I only played the demo in Carmax, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What are you supposed to do with this boss? You hit him? I guess Damn. Alright. <laughs> You really want to see a noob playing uh, Crash Bandicoot? Well, here you have it. So, how do you beat him? Okay, you hit him on the head. Alright, makes sense. Alright. Why am I using the analog? I, th I thought I said I was going to use D-pad. No, actually, this is better with analog right now. Alright, I'm getting the trend, what I have to do. Damn! Alright, this boss is a little... A little crazy. I guess you gotta move with the quickness. There we go. His ass is showing. <laughs> Alright. Two more. One more. Yeah, he's pretty simple. I was just eating shit. Yeah, I got him. He took three lives away from me. Three lives. I mean, if you manage to do this with a D-pad, that ain't bad, but... You know, for this, I prefer analog because you get to run around and all that, so... People probably, when they played this game, they they just used the D-pad, you get me? And, I, and when I recorded this, I put a 720p, uh, 30 frames. I don't know if it's 60, what is this? Coco's Time Machine? Whoa, what's up with that? Alright, let me check that out, actually. Do you want? Yeah, why not? Okay. So I could pick Coco if I wanted to. That's pretty cool. Alright. Rolling Stones. I don't know about that, but hey. We can go with that. You know, I got... I got my main, main girl with me, Coco. She gonna help me out on this adventure, you know. I'm glad about this game because this is like revisiting my childhood that was incomplete, essentially. I love it when you it's it's like in Dark Souls when it says humanity restored or something like that to me. When I do that is like when I play this game, like the message comes out, it says childhood restored. Literally. Like this is oh my god. I, Oh, I got it nonetheless. Alright, cool. I whipped that completely. Oh boy. Here we go. What have we got? I don't know what the hell happened, but it worked out for me. Got a little. That little crack right after that. That's that's what really messes me up. And that, oh my, what? Okay. Apparently I didn't jump big enough. 
Okay. Oh wow, okay. Anything here? No. So literally that was all lives right there. Or probably just the one in the middle, I guess. Oh, thank God for that. Well, not not the bad thing that happened, but like, thank God for the... Oh my God, are you serious? You gotta have a precision when it comes to this. All right. The precision, oh boy. Yeah, this is, this sucks. This really sucks. All right. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, cool. You can do this. Come on. Just wait on it. There we go. There we go. Alright, one. Alright, the other one. Roll that. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ugh. There we go. Wow, that was... That was nerve-wracking. Oh my god, I missed something. That was gonna take me off. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I got it. Did I get it? Hold up. Just keep on getting that. Yeah, I broke it. All right, cool. I know I'm probably... Whoa, what was that? Is it gonna come back? Look at that, there's a secret up there. I clearly see it, but like... I can't reach it. Thank God for the mask. Oh, I made it. Bonus, hell yeah, definitely. I need more lives. Alright, what's this one about? Oh, bridge? Like an aerial bridge, sort of? And then a stairway. Oh, I need a life. Yeah, every life counts. Got it all. Awesome. So it gave me a one life bonus. Alright, cool. Yeah, I need to rake them in those lives. I'm gonna do it. No matter what. There was another platformer I played. Thanks to my cousin. Back in the day. That I played it on um, PlayStation 2. Which was really good. A, a good game by Capcom. I needed two more of the- Oh, that secret up there was probably it. It was probably one of those heads. Alright. Yeah, it was probably that. Damn, I missed all those boxes. There's so many hidden boxes and I missed all that. Wow, I missed 24 boxes. Dude. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, get shrecked. Oh, get bopped. No, and a cool. No, get destroyed. All right. Um, these streams I'm gonna keep it kind of short because it's it's Crash Bandicoot. I'm not gonna put like an hour long gameplay, make it crazy or anything like that. Um, when I return. I'm gonna do. No, oh, not load. Um, what, when we return, we're gonna do Hog Wild. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to playing the fighting games I usually do and all that type of shit. So, yeah. Typically, these streams will last like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, each of these. So, you go look out for that. Alright, guys. Until next time. Thank you for watching.